My name is Brian Casey Lee, and I'm uh, one of the two composers on the project. I'm Stuart Wheeler, and I'm the co-composer for this film. Today is like a big day, the biggest day. We're recording with the Studio Orchestra Club. We're doing like all the strings and basically all the live parts that Stuart and I couldn't do ourselves. This is a lot of times kind of the best part is you know, after you've worked on the music and slaved over it and, and made the scores and everything, finally getting to actually like, go into the studio with the players and have them actually play and have it actually be realized. I a lot of times have difficulty working collaboratively, but it's been pretty smooth with Brian. I think we have a lot of similar interests musically and artistically. Right off the bat, we kind of were brainstorming ideas and, and we're finding that we had maybe not necessarily similar ideas all the time, but similar feelings about ideas that we would have. Really make them work. Really make them work really for that make them hurt. <laughs> It's a long piece. It's, I think it's what, 16, 17 minutes? and the music is 10 to 12. There's a lot of music. So we were able to just try like a bunch of different stuff. Some of it's more experimental, some of it's more like grounded and like familiarity. For the play section, we have it cued to begin, right? There's like a person jumping rope and it goes like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on eight is when the pizzicato strings come in. Something Stuart and I talked about is, um, so there's that recurring eternal theme that comes in and out, um, like in the beginning and the end, and it comes in kind of like right near the middle. We're using this technique in strings called sol ponticello, where the string players play very lightly next to the bridge, and it creates this very glassy, harmonically rich sound. And in the death segment, we have a full like string orchestra bowed. something we talked about is like all this other music and all these other themes there are these parts of life that are like exciting or sad or you're just involved in life but in the back of our minds we're, we're always trying to figure out what happened before and what happened after we're here so I guess if there is like a reoccurring thing it is that question the eternal question <laughs> 